Welcome to the heart of the wilderness. Join me on a journey where survival meets adventure. This channel is your guide to mastering the untamed, exploring the secrets of the wild forest, and unlocking the skills needed to thrive in nature's challenging embrace. Let's embark on this wild ride together. In a forest, far from immediate medical assistance, handling a medical emergency requires a cool head and resourcefulness. Remember the ABCs of first aid. Assess the situation. Breathe and circulation. 1. Assess the situation. Start by evaluating the scene for potential dangers. Ensure your safety before approaching the victim. Look for any immediate threats such as wild animals, unstable terrain, or falling branches. If it's safe, proceed to the next steps. 2. Breathe. Check the person's airway, breathing and circulation. If the individual is unconscious, gently tilt their head backward to open the airway and listen for breath sounds. If there's no breathing, start CPR. Perform chest compressions by pushing hard and fast on the center of the chest. For adults, aim for a rate of 100-120 compressions per minute. 3. Circulation. Control any bleeding using improvised materials. Tear clothing or use bandanas to fashion a makeshift tourniquet above the wound. If a limb is injured, elevate it to reduce blood flow. Apply direct pressure to wounds with a clean cloth, maintaining pressure until bleeding stops. 4. Shock. Victims of severe injuries may go into shock. Keep them warm by insulating them from the ground using leaves or clothing. Elevate their legs slightly to improve blood flow to vital organs. Reassure the person and encourage slow, deep breaths. 5. Fractures and sprains. If there are suspected fractures or sprains, immobilize the injured area with splints made from sturdy branches or rolled up clothing. Use bandages or strips of cloth to secure the splint in place. Support the injured limb to prevent further damage. 6. Burns. Forests pose a risk of burns from campfires or other sources. Cool burns with water, but ensure it's not too cold to cause hypothermia. Cover the burn with a clean, non-stick bandage or cloth. 7. Communication. If you have a means of communication, call for help. Provide your location, details of the situation, and any specific medical needs. If there's no communication device, consider sending someone for help if possible. 8. Improvised first aid tools. Utilize resources from the environment. For example, use large leaves as bandages, vines for securing splints, or a sturdy branch as a makeshift crutch. Remember, maintaining composure is crucial. Focus on addressing immediate life threats and stabilizing the injured person until help arrives or alternative arrangements can be made. In a forest setting, adaptability and resourcefulness are your greatest assets in managing medical emergencies. As the sun sets on our wilderness expedition, remember, survival is not just a skill. It's a mindset. If you've enjoyed conquering the wild with me, hit subscribe, like and share. Until the next adventure, stay wild, stay prepared and keep thriving in the great outdoors. Survive on.